Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is a A1466 2015 MacBook Air. Still pretty nice. Uh, you can still find them today. You know, it's not the newest one, it's not the latest one, but it's still a very popular one. But all these models pretty much from the 2013 to 2017 or so, around there, there are uh, they're all the A1466, they're the 13-inch models. They're all very, very similar especially in parts and just design, well, especially design. Customer went to another place and they needed to get a motherboard replacement for this one. So we're gonna be trying to do a fix on it and see really what's going on. So let's just take a look at it and see what's going on with it. So let's just open up the back and see what we have here. Um, and since we're already aware that it has been opened before by another shop because uh, she was quoted a uh, board replacement. So we're just gonna take that always into consideration. It's always good to ask questions too take a look at it, open it so we opened it and it's, it's kind of hard to tell on your screen but this is a swollen battery it's pretty thick you can kind of see it here it's pretty thick here um, so that definitely will need to be replaced it is dangerous to have this in for a long term and we see that the battery connection was taken out but it's orange so the AC light is uh, there it is so you can see now it's orange and it's just totally dead so let's just troubleshoot a few things um, so the charger port doesn't look like, the, if it was completely blank, we could at least assume maybe this might have an issue here. But since at least it's touching something, that means it's good. So what we want to do is at least remove the board and see if there's any corrosion or anything else on the bottom of it. But, you know, they did say there was none, so, but who knows? Let's go take a look. All right. Okay, so the board does look very clean very 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 clean too clean you ask me but it looks very clean um, see there's no residue nothing here so I don't believe that there was like liquid spill or something so it does look pretty good looks like it's more just a power issue but the lights on and there's still no power still nothing so we need to investigate a little bit further um, and kind of see we're gonna go test a little bit further from here and see we'll probably just go into the microscope and check it out a little bit more we can take a look at our power rails and we know that the G3 hot rails have to be present first. These are rails that are on when the computer is on all the time. To get anything from the charger, the PP3 V42 has to show up on the fuse. We know that it works because we get that orange light. To get any type of light, you have to have that working. Um, however, when we measured the voltage on the one side of the fuse, we actually got 0 volts. And when we measured on the other side, we got 8.9 volts. This usually means that the fuse is blown somewhere. This all passes through a rail which kind of which pretty much takes the power from the adapter and converts it to the specific voltage we need and this one in this particular case would be 8.5 volts. So in this case um, you can see that we created a jumper by removing the bad fuse which allows electricity to flow more freely and this is going to help us find out where the bad cap is. We can also locate the, it by seeing where the fuse gets really hot. Um, to show this, actually, we spray a little bit of alcohol. And you can see that the cap itself is, is getting warm and it's drying faster than the other ones around it. This will show you exactly this is a bad capacitor and it just needs to be replaced. Um, and we're just going to show you, and we'll just remove that and then put in a new one there and also do the same thing with the fuse. What we're going to go ahead and do is just, just test it now and make sure that all the work we did is, is successful. All right. Plug it in. You can see the fan spinning now, which is good. 
and it's getting warm here which is a good thing too uh, so it looks like it'll power on and it should be totally fine now we're also going to put in the new battery it's not swollen anymore so let's put that one in new one here for just for him Alright, it's on and off, just test it right there. Okay, so it looks good. We we're able to figure out exactly where the problem is and fix it. Um, it's a much better way to go, especially that you don't want to really replace the board because that can get a lot more expensive. It's always good to always fix and do repairs on boards. So we always do welcome all types of repairs for this type of model and these types of fixes. Um, we do have all of our contact information located in the description below. really do appreciate you guys watching this video and just uh, taking a look at kind of uh, the work that we do here. We, we like to do liquid spill repairs, data recoveries, um, any types of fixes for MacBooks especially. We like to specialize more in the MacBook type of repair. Um, we also do lots of other machines as well. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching. really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this very, very informative and just to see what type of work that we do. Um, we always uh, enjoy have reading the comments down below. Um, what type of problems have you guys ever seen with your MacBook? Have you ever had any problems? Have you been to places where they just kind of told you to like replace the board? Just anything else that you think and that you can see, just please leave a comment down below. It always helps. Uh, leave a like. Uh, it does help the video out a lot. And if you could please leave, uh, if you could please click that notification bell, it actually does let you know when we do upload our content. Because sometimes Google doesn't put that subscription in your box uh, right away. So um, all those things really do help. We do appreciate all the support and the love you guys have shown recently. Um, if you have any questions too, you can always contact us. We have all of our contact information in the link in the description. So um, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.